Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great today. As you can see, I am still in Vietnam. However, today is my last day. And wow, I gotta tell you, I have so much to reflect on uh, from this trip. It's been an awesome trip. First off, I wanna thank uh, those people who might have been praying for me that I actually maybe needed a, uh, a, a holiday, a vacation, because I definitely did need it. And weirdly enough, this trip got extended by a couple of days, and trust me, I took advantage of that. So, so thank you all for, uh, uh, if you folks were all praying for me. But one of the things that uh, really occurred to me uh, today and this morning, and of course, one of the things I was doing is I was reading uh, Matthew 24 this morning. I think everybody needs to be aware of what Matthew 24 says uh, and how it pertains to um, the times that we, uh, we live in. And of course, I'm relating that to a lot of the, uh, the news. You know, this morning, here it is, I wake up to, uh, there was a major uh, uh, earthquake uh, in California uh, this morning. You know, all this past week, there has been rumblings of war and whatnot uh, with the United States going after Iran, going after Israel, or not US going after Israel, but, but you know, just the, the, the whole turmoil uh, within that region. And as you start to read Matthew 24, it just makes me think, this is the season. When is the day of the hour? Nobody knows, but wow. You know, some of the key things that we're to be looking for, of course, is going to be deception, uh, wars, rumors of war, earthquakes in various places, weather events. I mean, th this is all just kind of ramping up. And, you know, I vividly remember like the 80s and 90s. And let me tell you, it was nothing like this. I don't recall it being like this, granted being younger and, you know, back then and maybe having a little more wisdom now, I, I can't exactly tell you. But, um, you know, these are the things that we need to be looking out for. Of course, within that parable of Matthew 24, it talks about the fig tree. And if you start to see the, the, the you know, when summer comes and you start to see the leaves on the trees, um, you know that the time is near. And look at what's been going on all around the world this week. I mean, it's, you know, it's just insanity. And yet, here I am, I've been here all week and I got to tell you, nobody, I go back to the previous video I just released at the beginning of this trip, and I'm going to tell you, I, I reiterate the point. Nobody is looking out for the rapture of the church or end times or anything like that in this region. This is business as usual. I mean, I'm even hearing of uh, rumblings of COVID coming back now, too. And I mean, this is, again, that's pestilence. You know, again, that's part of the Matthew 24 uh uh, you know, verses right there just giving you the sign of the time. So, folks, the, the point I'm making today in all of this is that we're in the season. Be ready. <laughs> Somebody wanted to be in part of this. <laughs> anyway, we are in the season right now. I don't know how much time we have left. That's that, you know, only God knows uh, how much time we have left. But the whole point of this is be ready. You know, again, going back to Matthew 24, where it talked about how, you know, if the owner of the house knew the thief was coming, he'd be ready, he'd be there, he'd catch it. But that's the whole point, be ready. In the season, spot the signs, <laughs> you know, and, and with that in mind, my heart is for all of you out there, for the unsaved uh, that are out there. Look, I don't know how much time we have left, but the point is, be active. Don't get to the point. I would hate to see anybody out there and getting into heaven and God questioning any one of them and saying, why didn't you talk to your neighbor? Why didn't you talk to that relative? I pressed it upon you to go do so, and yet you didn't do it. You don't want to be in that position. Yeah, you'll be saved at that point, but the regret and sorrow, that's, that's one of the big things of what motivates me, and that's actually even why I did that video the other day talking about my friend. Uh, who just died recently too. It's all to motivate you, because really that's, only thing you can take to heaven with you are the people that you reach, and that's it. Folks, that's it, that's my word for the day. Going back to Australia today, thank you all for your support, and like and subscribe, please. <laughs> and uh, folks, that's it, and I hope to see you all next time.